Hi everyone, Lacey and Broody here from History with Cats, and we're here today to tell you about something that happened on this day in the year 1587. On July 22nd of 1587, a group of 100 plus English settlers landed on Roanoke Island with the intention of living in what was to be the first permanent English settlement in North America. Now, Roanoke Island had actually been established two years prior by a different group of English settlers, but most of those settlers had returned home to England in the summer of 1586 when supplies were running low. But a few settlers did stay on, and so when this group of 100 plus settlers had landed on this day 432 years ago, they would have expected to have been met with these original few settlers, and instead all that they found was an empty settlement and one skeleton. But these settlers did decide to stay on and make Roanoke Island their home, and soon the first English baby born on North American soil was born on the island, and she was a little girl named Virginia Dare who lived on the island with her family. And things seemed to be going well for the settlers. But in the winter of 1587, a small group of these settlers decided to return home to England to apply for governmental aid for the colonists who remained on the island. And when this group returned to Roanoke Island in August of 1590, they expected to find these 100 plus settlers still living on the island. Instead, they again were met with an empty settlement. And the only clue as to where these 100 plus settlers had gone was the word Croatoan carved into a fence post on the island. And these settlers were never seen again. Instead, they seem to have just disappeared. There have been no archeological remains found of the settlers and there were no bones or any sort of remnants of them. This remains one of the greatest mysteries of American history. We hope you enjoyed this short video and we'll see you next time.